Hello boys and girls. This, this, this. This is Mr. O and uh, today um, I wanted to talk to you about cabbages. Now, I know what you're thinking already. You're thinking, oh, cabbages, so disgusting, so smelly, so boring. I don't think cabbages are smelly or disgusting or boring. In fact, I think they are all pretty interesting. Cabbage is probably my favorite vegetable. Yes, you can quote me on that. Yes, you can. They're also pretty interesting to grow. So I just wanted to have a look at them, uh, have a look at the ones that I am growing in my planter. Uh, just outside of the window next to me. These cabbages are what we call Savoy cabbages. It means that they have lovely uh, crinkly leaves. They also grow pretty big as well. Even though this leaf is pretty giant, almost as big as my hand, these are actually still quite small as far as Savoy cabbages go. Normally, when you think about a cabbage, it would be in a ball. The ball we call a head, a head of cabbage. Just imagine having a head of cabbage. But you'll notice that uh, my cabbages are growing kind of like separate leaves. It's because cabbages, when they're in pots, don't normally uh, grow into a head. They will just grow out in that way. I don't really know why. They just don't. There's a little difference between plants in pots and plants outside in the fields. I'm going to do a little bit of general care of my cabbages. And um, yes, I think that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little bit of general care of my cabbages and uh, show you a few interesting things about them, which means I'm going to change from this camera to this camera down here. The reason that I'm going to do that is that this camera has a special lens called a macro lens, which allows you to get really super close to things. So let's have a look at what that looks like right now. All right, so here is cabbage number one. I've got my special macro lens on and uh, you can have a little look so this is some of the oh dear overexposed all right this is the big leaf you can see some of the beautiful detail I think all right so this is the first one it's looking pretty happy there's a few little bugs on it which I can just remove with my fingers um, otherwise I think this one looks quite happy now I don't want to grow these leaves too long because they might start to get a bit hard and not very nice to eat so I'll probably trim off these big leaves and eat them with my dinner tonight. Now right in the middle here we've got some of the lovely crinkly leaves. I can just show you them with a special camera. Super crinkly. Now I did an experiment and I tried to grow some other cabbage in here as well and that's really not worked out because I've got some little green bugs on there I can see they've all been eaten by something <sighs> they're really not in good shape let's have a look nice and close holes there this one is all holes hardly anything left it's probably a little green bug on there is it yes and right down here I can see some little tiny things as well which are living on my cabbage so not very happy about them 
So I don't think this other cabbage is going to grow. This, this is a red cabbage. It really doesn't look very happy. So I think I'm going to cut it out and throw it away. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Let's trim some more leaves. Doink. Trim them off quite nicely. Don't worry about the dirt. I can get rid of that later. I'm going to trim it down quite a lot. But I will leave um, maybe this biggish leaf because it will still need to get the sunlight on it, otherwise it won't grow at all. I've also got a few little weeds in here, which I can just snip away. I could probably just pull them up with my fingers actually. Let's do that. Yeah. Try and get them up by the roots, but I don't really have very many, so I'm quite happy with that. And then I'm going to just mush up the surface of the soil a bit, otherwise it will get all funny and gross. Maybe pack it down around the base of my cabbage to keep it strong. And that's the first one done. Oh, let's look at number two. have a look at this Ugh. so I do have some eggs going on on this one thank you I'll just point them out down here There's some eggs Ugh. don't know what they are eggs of but I think we can probably just wash them off for now so I will trim that and we've got some nice crinkly leaves in the middle. And maybe I'll take off one more. So, any more eggs on here? Can't see any. Sometimes they're hiding underneath. But it looks all right to me. Let's pick out the weeds. I never thought that I would have a problem with weeds living up on a high floor in Hong Kong. Apparently, weeds can get everywhere. That is the way of things. And let's mush up the soil a little bit. Make sure there's nothing living underneath the surface. Mm, there's a couple of little flies in there. Now, I've saved the best to last, which is this one, which has been totally, completely, well, not totally, and not completely, but very, very much eaten by caterpillars. They have made holes everywhere. And you'd think that they would finish one whole leaf and then like move on to the next one. No, they seem to like to eat a little bit of one leaf and then try another one, even though it's from the same plant and keep going. Now you might think it's a little bit gross, but I think you can still eat these leaves. And that's what I'm going to do. Of course, I'm gonna wash them carefully. I am going to cut them off carefully and eat them. So, I have tidied up my cabbages. This one, I don't really know what's gonna happen, but uh, hopefully it will feel a bit better soon. Um, I've got a lot of cabbage that I can have with my dinner tonight, which I'm excited about. Uh, I've got some with quite a few holes in, not too sure about those ones, we'll just see. And uh, like any good lifelong learner, I have referred to a book to get some ideas about how I can help my plants. And one thing that it says is that if you plant two things together, then um, that can help, especially getting rid of bugs and flies and pests. 
and it says for cabbages that I should try marigolds or rosemary. Now I actually have some rosemary, so I'm going to put my rosemary next to my cabbages and maybe that will keep away some of these nasty flies and bugs and caterpillars so that I don't lose so much next time. Next time on Mr. O Does Gardening, I will uh, show you how to grow some chilies, which is jolly good fun, and I've had a lot of success with them. So, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to watch another Mr. O video, you can choose one here. Or even better, click here and click videos to see all of them together. Or click playlists to see collections like Mr. O Reads or Mr. O Plays. Finally, it would be great if you clicked like, which is here and subscribe, which is here. If you want to send me a message, click here, and your parents can click here to support my fundraiser. See you next time.